Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So I spent over 40,000 over these lights. These are basically smart IoT enabled light that can be controlled via an app uh, from my iPhone. They have their own Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module inside them. But there is one caveat in them. There is no feature in that app that syncs these lights with music. Since I am a software engineer, so I decided to create my own Python library. So let's see how I created my own Python library that sync music in real time with these lights. And also it can be used by anybody which have these lights that basically need one music and IP of these uh, lights. So yeah, let's see. So let's jump directly into my laptop and see how I did it. Okay, now it's recording. Yeah. So this is the POC, uh, that piece of code that I wrote before writing my own complete library for that. So let me uh, first see if it works or not. So I just created a file POC and uh, run it and it worked like a charm. So then I converted this code into a proper library. So everybody just import this library. So yeah, so let me just show you how you can use it. So yep. So if you like, see this library, let's see this library. So this library contains majorly three modules, frequency, audio or uh, load audio and lights. So frequency is a like data class or a dummy class that will only have the reference to the current frequency. I will come to this frequency part later. So yeah, let me go back to uh, the, the, the light library. So the other two modules are load, load audio uh, and lights. Audio will do everything related to audio. So it will take the input audio file and it will have a reference to the current frequency. <coughs> so basically we are going to stream this audio. Yep. And then we have like the other module lights. So these are like, these will basically take input as the IPs of the light and rest everything is done here. So there is a, 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 a module which will connect so these are basically Philips Wiz light. So there is a, a module which connect this light by this IP. So yeah, so it is basically a asynchronous uh, function. So uh, that doesn't uh, work synchronously. So it is a, uh, it is built in a way that it, it is a asynchronous function. So we have to take care of that. So that's, we have to learn, uh, we have to run them in this uh, async loop or async uh, event loop. So yeah, now let me come to the main uh, main component again, light dance. So it's, it, as I told you, we run these, the streaming of lights and the streaming of audio parallelly. So first we will start, start a thread that will run in a separate thread of, uh, so that will run this uh, start audio function in a separate se thread. So that the streaming of the audio will run separately in a thread but they have a same reference to the same memory. So this class, which I created a frequency class, you can see inside there is a variable that will have the current value of the uh, frequency. So that is also consumed by this second thread, which, which the work of the second thread is to sync the light. So yeah, so it's a lot of talk. Now let me show you the real syncing. Yeah, that's a